it's Miss Jill here, and I hope everyone had a wonderful weekend and um, got to spend some time outdoors and with your family. So I am really excited for this week. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed last week the summer safari and all the neat little things that everybody, all the instructors had for us to do and all the staff, the activities and everything that we had going on. I hope you all enjoyed that. But this week, I am excited. It is Time Warp Week. And while I have been busy all morning trying to figure out how I could do a time warp to get me to the beach, I've had no luck. So, if Miss Jill gets missing this week, and you all don't hear from me, I figured out my time warp, and I am on the beach. So, I may send you all a video from there, and I may not, because I might not get there. But... If I don't make it, you'll have another video and I'll be here at the club. But anyway, one of the activities this week we're going to do is we're going to do a time capsule. And I don't know if you guys know what that is, but a time capsule, and I'm going to use, we're going to send these home. This is very small. Um, we just ordered these for you all to have. I thought it would be a fun activity. But you can make a time capsule any way that you would like. You could use a, you have to get a durable um, box or anything like that. Anything that you can store some items in, whatever you want for your time capsule. And um, you bury it. And you decide when that you want to dig it up or, you know, what have you. A lot of times, they'll tell you to put things in there like, it would be really neat for right now to put a time capsule um, with a newspaper with the COVID-19 and things that are going on and say 10 years from now um, you don't know what's going you don't remember everything and you could dig up your time capsule and read the newspaper and that'd be real interesting to uh, see what's going on but what I did for my little time capsule and like I said this is just you can uh, write a little letter um, put something in it if you want I'm expecting a grandson in August so I wrote him a little letter, and when he is able to read, when he's very, very young, I am going to let him dig it up and read the letter that I wrote him. So, when you all get these, you could write a letter, you could put some things in it if you had something that you wanted to stick in it and bury it. But you could also think of things that you could do with your family, like you could get a plastic box and do your family, your handprints, or you could do a family picture, or anything like that. Like I said, I think the newspaper would be a wonderful thing to do um, with everything going on in the world right now. And many years down the road, you can dig it up and read about it, or or things like that. Um, they say menus from your favorite restaurant, popular CDs, which you all there's not really a whole lot of CDs now. We have the iTunes and things like that. Um, but if you still listen to CDs or anything like that, you could put something in there. Um, just things like that, that in years from now, you're going to look back on and it might be interesting. So for the first or activity this week that Miss Jill will send home will be your little bottle with the time capsule. Like I said, you could write a note. You can do whatever if there's something you want to put in there and take it out in your yard and bury it. And just remember where you bury it because when you decide that if you want to dig it up years from now, you'll need to know where it's at. So I'm going to take my little time capsule home and I'm going to bury it. And when my little grandson can read, I'm going to let him go out in the yard and dig it up. But that's all I have, and I hope you guys enjoy this week with Time Warp. Bye. Again, if you don't hear from Miss Jill, I've Time Warped to the Beach. Bye.